Hey guys, welcome back to Sip, Savor, and Celebrate. Welcome to our greatest hits. It's Wednesday, that means Whiskey, Whiskey Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> so, today, I had a suggestion, as, as I've told you in many other videos. You had a suggestion. Okay, we had a suggestion. So, please check out um, Third Winds, because Connor recommended La Gouvelin, 12 That's year. Right. Um, so, since we're getting into some scotches today, and he suggested a good scotch to try out was this. And um, we want you to know, remember to drink responsibly. Please subscribe. Check out our other content. Please tell your friends about us and hit that notification bell. We need your help to grow this channel. We love you. We love your comments. I love when we're out and about and we get like, hey, it's a sip saver guy, <laughs> you know. And we love your suggestions. Keep them coming. And Please also, let us know. you know, check out some of our our new distillers that we brought on. Yep. Um, TC I'm Crab, working on another one. Third Winds. Um, those are Bahariba. Bahariba, um, Those right. are all relatively new. Bahariba. I hope you can see it. Yep. <laughs> but, um, new to the industry and the market, please support them because, yes. you know. TC Craft and all of them. It is all a dream that they are going on, hoping that, you know, they get wind in their sails on their sailboat. You know, you're right. And keep in mind, when you when we review this, some, you know, for someone, or we talk to someone about their product, you know, that's an, that's an interesting position to be in because... Ultimately, this is their baby. Correct. You know, you're talking about their child. And, you know, that can be sensitive sometimes. But ultimately, we're still going to be respectful. But we're going to talk about it the way we actually taste it. A lot of times, I don't agree with him. And a lot of times, he doesn't agree with me. But sometimes, we do on certain ones. Like, non-1414. Anyways, and Anna Maria, we love you. Um, I'm getting excited about that trip in November. I'm not even going to oh, lie. I, I can't even give away those details yet. I know. So. She's been telling me about some good stuff we're going to be going through. But let's get back to the scotch because, you know, um, I want to give Connor our honest opinion of his favorite scotch. So this is actually a two-year-old Two, sorry, 200-year-old. <laughs> oh, that's two, a little different. 200-year-old distillery. Okay. Um, and it is in the Petey Mosses um, of Scotland. Um, they used oak casks um, that are aged. Um, so that means, you know, they're kind of fired deeply and then let set to, you know, build flavor before okay. they use All them. Right. Um, and then... What is unique is um, this is the twelve year limited release. Oh look at this. So it's even saying on here that this is a pale gold cast strength. Correct. Oh I like my cast strength. <laughs> so um, they use the rich peat water um, that then kind of is turned into like a smoky flare with the peat and everything burning to um, give it the flavors. Okay, okay. I'm not mad at that. That sounds really good. I'm kind of, well. You know what? Let me get this so it can start to breathe a little bit. Hand me your glass, please. The <laughs> so they <laughs> offer steak pairings and cheese and food pairings with this. Um, but Whoa. they talk about their 22 distillers edition being one of their highest, highest awarded um, because of their sherry cast and everything you get through it. But out of the bottle, it almost does give you that mezcal um, smoke. smoke. Yeah. And this is the 12-year. They do have... Um, Several different expressions um, as far as when they age it and how long they age it. This happens to be the 12 year. Um, I've seen one out there as a 16 year, um, a little more difficult to get. Um, they're not cheap. They're not cheap. This one I paid 155 bucks for, um, but that's Michigan prices. 
I'm sure I could probably get it for a hundred bucks online someplace else. You know, that's typically how it goes. Okay, now that's a different smoke. There's definitely a mezcal smoke to that. I agree that it's it's kind of a peat moss that is burning, you know, like when you're burning your lawn in the fall. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. There's some brine in there. Brininess. Man, this is like so close to a mezcal. It's throwing me for a loop right now. <laughs> And there's several other ones underneath it. I get the smoke, I get the brine. Can you tell me, because I need education on this one. When it comes to scotches, mm -hmm. what is the product that is being changed from a starch into a sugar, which then becomes It would the be spirit? a mash. So what is that mash? Is it a wheat? Is it a barley? Is it a corn? Is it a what? Or all of the it above? It could be all of the above. It could be all of the above. With okay. scotches, that is a lot of proprietary information. All right. Because scotch is technically your best form of a whiskey or bourbon that you could get. Okay. Okay. Um, Again, and, I don't know, so I'm asking for an education no, you, on that And part. so that is why... Like, they don't talk about it, you know, um, in a lot of places, what those mashes are. Not like, you know, I'm in previous lie. episodes where bourbons and whiskeys were like, hey, we're, you know, 70% corn and 13% barley and 12%, you know, grandma's toes. You know, I'm not so. going to lie. I can sit back, relax, and get some fish and chips. <laughs> I mean, you know... It's actually not bad. See, now after I set it down and come back to it, I'm getting, like, candle wax. There's so many different flavors, I can't pick them all out. Um, so There's a lot so to So off this. the nose, you get that smoke, you get a yes. sweet, you get kind of a salty... And then, like I said, giving it a chance to breathe, I come back to it, I get, like, a candle wax. I'm not sure I can agree with the candle wax. I get... Man. It's very pleasant. But then again, this makes me think of a Fortaleza without the smoke because of the brine. Because of the brine. No, it's way more complex than Fortaleza. Whoa! That tastes nothing like the nose. <laughs> um, other than the smoke. Mmm, wow. Let me let it sit there for a second. I get the honey. I get the the uh, mint. I get some pepper and I get something spicy. I get the I get some fresh wood in there. I do get that. It's so like you just took a bite of a lock. A wet, wet wood. Yes. Wet wood. Um, Thankfully, the like candle wax I get on the nose, I'm not getting under the palate. Yeah, I'm glad. And I'm not, thankfully, I'm, I'm, I'm not that. getting an oil lamp either. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was interesting. They say on the side of the box that you should get an oil lamp. I'm like, um... <laughs> I can't tell you the last time I drank from an oil lamp. Uh, but I do get that oily, not oil, oil. Consistency. But I get an oil, like, you know what? 
Wow, as I'm getting this uh, sitting there, it's making making a reminiscent of like a what do you call those those fish pills, the the omega three. Okay. That oiliness from a uh, an omega three pill. Okay. And and they do talk about it being more of an oil based. Um, I get that. Scotch versus a, a regular. We get that. I mean, <laughs> look at the damn... This thing is still has not broke. Right. Oh, now it's starting. Now it's starting to break. It's very viscous. Very... It very mouth much... Mouth covering. Yeah, it gives you a mouth covering. Um, but we're on the... I'm, I'm getting now back to the brine. I get like an... Uh, uh, an oily finish with brine and I get a singing dog in the background <laughs> <laughs> no I'm just messing with you other than that it's a it's actually way better than the, I, I like this way better than our last scotch that we just reviewed I'm sorry however um I don't I find would this. Not mix this with I don't anything. find this to be as versatile as the previous I, episode. Like I just um, said, I wouldn't mix this with anything. However, um, they do talk about like pairing this with blue cheese and steak. Oh my god! This with like a cheese board, a charcuterie board. Oh yeah! And that's what they they recommend having this as. Um, so let's get down to our recommendation. I'm Connor. sorry, I would. You are going to recommend it. I am going to recommend it. I do enjoy this. It's on a whole different level. So much complexity. So much um, aromas. And this is not... This is not for the faint of heart. I'll put that. And not a novice or a beginner. This is an no. advanced... This is not for so, somebody that's just so, like, oh my god, I want to try your scotch. So, no. so now that you put those stipulations in, and most of our people are beginners oh, or, nice. or you know, new to a lot of the things we're bringing out, are you still recommending it? Um, like, oh, wow. like I would for sure introduce this to Lane in a heartbeat. Absolutely. Oh, yes. yes. But knowing that most of our people are new? I wouldn't go to this as your first scotch ever. I probably would not. I would start with something like you had. You know, the Glenlivet. Glen right. The Glenlivet would be a good starter scotch. I'm not a fan of my old uh, co-worker that had Johnny Walker was his go-to. I didn't enjoy it. I did not enjoy that. I enjoyed your Glen Blivage. I enjoy this. This is I. This is on a different level. But this is this is like a like. This is um, so. I'm gonna give a two part recommendation. All right. So I do not recommend this um, to ninety percent of our audience. However, I found this on the web. <laughs> Sorry, Siri. Siri thinks she knows <laughs> she knows better. Um, however, like I would challenge like Raphael with this, or someone that is a little bit more versed in what they are looking for. Um, I would say yes. Go ahead, pick this up. Pick up. Some nice steaks, throw them on the grill, cook them to medium rare. Because if you go past that, then you are just ruining money. <laughs> um, and and throw a, a cigar in your hand, and and or like you said, you can have your fish and chips. I'll have my steak, and and you know, no, we'll I mean, go to town. Oh, I actually, you know, I could. I'm digging this. The more it let that open up, I just put a few drops of water in there just to kind of open it up even more. Just to kind of let it bloom. So this, I would like this either neat or on the rocks. Either one is a wonderful, um, wonderful addition. Because um, like the last one, um, I would prefer it on the rocks versus straight up neat. neat. 
Um, but this one, I would, I, I, I'd have it either way. I do enjoy it. All, All right. right. All right, um, Connor. Th- there you have it. That is our you. recommendation. Thank you. We are. Thank you for are joining. A pass me. and a hit, um, all at the same time because we have recommendations on the crowd that should enjoy sure this until sure until they begin to love what they're drinking. So, guys, don't forget to drink what you love and always sip, sip savor, and celebrate. celebrate. Cheers. Cheers.